Well, it's Saturday, 29th September, 2012, 20 years since Twyford Down protests. On Twyford Down, not surprisingly, in Winchester, near Winchester in Hampshire. It's Raga Woods, I remember you from the long time ago. Your harvest moon. I thought, you know, I was young forever, but I just found, oh my God, I couldn't get up the hill. Somebody, I asked somebody to take my trolley up with me, and then I, I got to the fence and I thought, I'm not going to make it. And they said, yes, you can do it, you can do it. So I got over. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> not quite as. Um, Physically capable as I used to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm in my 70s now. Are you? You've still got the lovely red hair, <laughs> ginger hair. Yeah. Do you bring back a lot of memories being up here? Do you yeah. still feel a sense yeah. of the place? Yeah. I mean, I did coming over the hill here. Yeah. But until you get to this part, it does feel a lot different, doesn't it, really? And uh, we, deep down, we always knew that they were going to get away with it. Yeah. They were going to sink the, the Tory Canyon, as we called it. Oh, yeah. They were going to actually not sink it, but actually manifest it. Yeah, I'm just looking at the banner here, looking out over the uh, the road through the hill, and the banner's uh, backlit, so you can see the clouds through it. And there's a little banner there, no new roads next to it, but the main banner says, 20 years since, try for down, don't go backwards, no new roads. And the word backwards was written backwards, so you could read it the right way around, if you're standing over here. and. Uh, the rally's kind of moving off now, I think, to have a bit of refreshment. So, I'm going to kind of wander along and catch up with them, I hope. We've got all these new roads coming out of the freezer or um, being uh, exhumed, the zombie roads. Somebody talked about uh, we should remake the film of Dracula um, with the uh, Thatcher's inheritance coming out of the ground. Um, and what we're seeing now is um, a road building program coming up from mad local authorities and local enterprise partnerships, threatening some of the best countryside we've got, the Norfolk Broads, the South Downs, the Peak District, and local green space too. If we have a new generation of roads, we know there's going to be a new generation of resistance. We've already got the Coombe Haven Defenders organising their rally today in Hastings, and we've seen in Cameron and Osborne's constituencies protests emerging. The Whitney Bypass has been defeated in Cameron's constituency. We've got people here from... Uh, we thought the Dwyford Down would change a little bit of the world, and for a while it certainly did. Uh, the campaign that went on to Fair Miles, Salisbury Hill, Leytonstone and Newbury did halt Thatcher's roads to prosperity. Hey. Yeah. I, I believe that there is a permanent legacy of the campaign, and I will come back to that. But we probably all now feel that the promise of change has faded away, and indeed what was done here is largely forgotten. Most of those now of the age the Dongas, that the Dongas tribe were at the time of its making seem never to have even heard of Twyford Down and very few of the rest seem to care. Uh, if I sort of misquote uh, Henry, at, uh, Henry V at Agincourt, all shall be forgot, but you'll remember with advantages what feats you did that day. <laughs> you will remember those that are no longer with us, the good and kind Stephen Ward, with his sense that justice must be pursued relentlessly. He died on the 10th anniversary of Yellow Wednesday. David Croker was the rock on which all the M3 campaigns rested from the early 1970s onward. His quiet voice of reason somehow reached out both to the largely unsympathetic political party to which he owed allegiance 
and to the radical forces he encouraged to come to Twyford Down. Polite, endlessly patient but persistent, he was always true to what really mattered. David died in 2006. Alan Weeks was born in Winchester and somehow seemed to be the spirit of the place. His never-ending business was to serve Winchester and he was ever the thorn in the side of those in authority who would bring unasked for change to the city he loved. Alan died in 2010. You will remember that year on the Dongas of Twyford Down where a life was lived and a home was made. The greatest mistake the Department of Transport made was to move complacently with its contractual processes. Between the Molam contract at Hockley and the invasion of the Dongas, 11 months elapsed. 11 months in which the tribe moved out onto and grew out of the Dongas. That was a time of both joy and excitement and the summer months were near magical. It is fitting that the tribe has come for its reunion not on the 20th anniversary of its great resistance on, on Yellow Wednesday but on that of one of the loveliest and most magical events, the Harvest Moon Party of 1992. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to burn the soup. <laughs> yeah, it's stirring up a, a cauldron. I didn't even want to email anybody to, saying there was a Twyford reunion on because I thought, you know, there's, that's what that's what we brought up. You don't commun you know, email. It's all Big Brother shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. I try to avoid that. But I'm so glad to be here. I've only known one person out of all of this that I've kept in touch with regularly, you know? And yeah. And Griffin's very isolated. Yeah, you've kept in touch with me regularly once in 10 years. Huh? Regularly. Regularly, <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> Every decade you'll do.